Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Ferguson. Today we're going to be working on Skills Unit 6, Lesson 13. And by the end of this lesson today, you should be able to blend sounds to say words, say letter sounds and lowercase letter names, read the tricky words, recognize rhyming words, point and read from left to right, and read mumps with purpose and understanding. So we're going to start today off by blending. So get those fingers ready. The first word we're going to blend is end, and it's a three sound word. End, eh, n, d, end, good. The next word is a four sound word. Bend, b, eh, n, d, bend, good. The next word is a five sound word. Blend, b, o, eh, n, d, blend, good. The next word is a four sound word. Lend. O, E, N, D. Lend. The next word is a four sound word. Send. S, E, N, D. Send. Good. Now the next set of words have something in common. So let's pay attention and listen closely. This word is three sounds. Red. R, E, D. Red. Good. The next word has three sounds. Blue. B, O, U. Blue. Good. The next word has four sounds. Green. G, R, E, N. Green. The next word has four sounds. Black. B, O, A, K. Black. And the last word has four sounds. Brown. B, R, O, U. Mmm, brown. Very good. So what do those words have in common? Red, blue, green, black, brown. What are they? You're right. They're all colors. Excellent job. Now it's time to review our letters and sounds. Let's say them together. M says mmm. A says a. Eh. T says t. D says D. O says A. Ah. C says K. G G. I says I. N says N. H says H. S says S. F says F. V says V. Z says Z. P says P, E says E, B says B, L says O, R says R, U says U, W says W, J says J, Y says Y. X says X. K says K. Q says Q. Great job, boys and girls, with those letters and sounds. Now it's time to chain. So let's blend these sounds together to read the word. O, A, B, lob. So if this says lob and we change the B to T, our new word would be that's right, lot. And if we change the O to D, our new word would be dot. Good. And if we change the D to K, our new word would be cot. Good. And if we change the A to E, our new word would be cat. Excellent. And if we change the K to S, our new word would be Sat. Good. Ooh, and if we add a O after the S, our new word would be slat. Good. And if we change the T to P, our new word would be slap. Good. And if we change the P to M, our new word would be slam. Good. And if we change the S to K, 
our new word would be clam. Excellent job chaining, boys and girls. All right, we are going to do our alphabet song again today. And remember, every time you say a letter, you're going to, that's right, clap. And I'm going to pat my leg. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Nice job, boys and girls. All right, we're going to play Make a Rhyme. Remember, two words rhyme when they end with the same sound. Like man and can. Both words end in the same sound. Man, can. But those two words not only end with the same sound, they also have the same letters at the end. You see I have them underlined here. A-N, A-N. Man, can. So here's more words that rhyme with man. So we have man, can, pan, ran. All of those words rhyme. So here we have what? That's right, bug. Can you think of some words that rhyme with bug? Good. Let's see. I came up with bug, rug, hug, mug. All right. Here's pop. Pop. Can you think of words that, words that rhyme with pop? Good. So I came up with pop, hop, mop, stop. Here's wet. Can you think of worms, words that rhyme with wet? Good. I came up with wet. Bet, met, net. And here's sad. Can you think of words that rhyme with sad? Good. I came up with sad. Mad, dad, glad. Kit. Can you think of words that rhyme with kit? Good. I came up with kit. Bit, hit, sit. Excellent job with those rhyming words. Now it's time to review our tricky words. Let's say them together. One, two, three, the, a, blue, yellow, look, I, R, little. Great job. So we're going to read the story Mumps again today. Here's our title page and the table of contents. Can you find the title Mumps? Great job. There it is. Now roll your finger over to the end and tell me what page number Mumps starts on. That's right, page 57. All right, let's review our vocabulary word, mumps. Mumps is an illness with a fever and swelling of the cheeks and neck. If I wanted to use mumps in a sentence, I may say, when I had the mumps, I felt very sick. All right, so I'm going to read it first, and then we're going to read it together. Kit has mumps. Kit is in bed. Kit can't get up. 
Kit can't run and jump. Kit can't skip and hop. Kit is sad. Oh, poor Kit. All right, now it's your turn to read with me. Take out your pointer fingers. We're going to read from left to right. Kit has mumps. Kit is in bed. Kit can't get up. Kit can't run and jump. Kit can't skip and hop. Kit is sad. Great reading today, everyone. Now let's answer the questions about Kit's story today. We're going to use complete sentences when answering. And remember, you can always go back in the story to help you answer the questions. Why is Kit in bed? That's right, Kit can't get up. What illness does Kit have? You got it, Kit has mumps. What things can't Kit do because she has mumps? That's right, Kit can't run and jump. Kit can't skip and hop. How does this make Kit feel? That's right, Kit is sad. Who are the main characters in this story? That's right, the main character in the story is Kit. And what is the setting of the story? Look at the illustrations. Good, the setting of the story is Kit's house or Kit's bed. Great job at those questions today, boys and girls. Now I need you to head over to Skills Unit 6, Lesson 13, and fill out the Google form. Great job today, everyone. Keep up the good work. I'm so proud of you.